Goodbye, Church Minshaw. Lovely place to moor. We just wanted to say thank you to everyone who supports the channel in all the ways that you do. With special thanks to Robert, Clink and Beard and Kevin for their ongoing support. Hope the renovations are going well, Kevin. Mark for the two coffees that he bought us this week and Andrew McDonald for joining the Patreon crew. Your support is very much appreciated and goes a long way to keeping the channel going. So thank you to everyone. Birds here are going absolutely bonkers. So this is the main road into Church Minshall. You can actually take uh, the bridge, bridge 13, the first one we came to. Uh, you can just take that because there's a towpath. Um, so it's not a towpath, is it? A footpath <laughs> down into uh, into the village. Saves fighting with the road. Gorgeous, gorgeous old building. It's almost some Dutch influence, I think, in the architecture. Looks like there would have been some uh, an old sluice gate or similar to let water out of the canal, like a flood protection system. My angel's just appeared. <laughs> this is just an old, uh, an old, well, actually, that's Bo Greg's bed sheet. That's what was on uh, Narrow Bow Josh when we bought him. So uh, we now, sorry, Bo Greg, but we put that on the uh, floor, on the carpet in the, uh, in the well deck just to protect the, uh, the carpet, it's sort of silvery grey. It does a job done. It didn't. Ah. The sheep and lambs. What is this thing going past? Uh, I do have to say it is nice down here. It's not very busy with boats either, which uh, good and bad, good and bad. I think today it's going to be even quieter because uh, because of the weather forecast. So we'll see. We've seen one other moving boat so far this morning. It's a really nice uh, hedge cutting down here, actually. Somebody's done a really, really good job on uh, on these. It's narrow here, really narrow. It doesn't really look as if there was a bridge, but I suppose there could have been. Back in the day, not anymore. But it's on a corner as well. So if you meet a boat coming, there's going to be some revs. Uh, depending on how we edited yesterday's footage, you've hopefully heard to explain these, uh, but they're to stop the walls from bowing. So there's a big tie bar that goes through the middle of those sort of plates, plates. Applying pressure to the brick where the tie bar provides stability. And then that stops the walls from bowing. Very effective by all accounts. As you'll see from all the cracking in the brickwork, this bridge certainly needed them.
I mean about the crisp edges. So not only have the tops been cut, but both sides have been cut and chamfered. That's class work. <laughs> That's really class work. Well done whoever's done that. Well done indeed. Oh no, go on then, that's a treat, even more mirrors. The shroppy keeps on giving. There's nothing behind me. Fabulous mooring spot this would be. Look at that for a view. Very nice. Nice, nice, nice. One's a big old railway line, this. <laughs> My angel's caught another spider. So on this side of the bridge, we've got a sort of modern map sort of bridge, concrete, whatever. Then, this lovely old cast iron or steel. Gorgeous brick arches. Tale of two bridges.
DJ behind us. Sorry guys, we've missed wine o'clock again. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sue will tell you in a second, but uh, we've been flagged down and we're uh, we're coming into land. <laughs> yeah, impromptu little stop. We were going to go through this lock and then probably more up before the um, before the rain comes back, but uh, we've just been flagged down by a chap in front of us to say the lock's broken. There is a CRT chap there, but uh, he's tried to move, remove a blockage behind one of the gates and it's pulled the head off his rake. So. <laughs> He's waiting for um, a CRT boat to arrive from Middlewich to try and clear it. So this might this might be us for the rest of the day, or we might get through. There's um, it's like three boats in front of us. So and the rain's due, isn't it? So. The rain's due, yeah. So this might be uh, where we stay for today and then move off again tomorrow. But um, we'll see how long it takes to uh, sort this blockage out. So we're going to go for a bit of a wander, a real life oh, emergency. I my coat. A real oh, life you get you? <laughs> Yeah, such an emergency we've brought our coffee. <laughs> so as you can see, if you ended up down here, past the row of boats, where, where are you going to go? So there is a boat on the lock landing pointing in the wrong direction, which is interesting. Mm. I don't know quite why that would be. Nope. Right, quite the queue we've got. What have we got down here? We've got a couple of CRT work boats, and then I'd say there's probably, I don't know, five, five boats looking to come up. Um, we've currently got the CRT magnet fishing. Um, these aren't, they're basically uh, sent for a guy in a, um, in a wetsuit, so he's coming. You can see the magnet going in there. Punk. But we're just getting nails and bits out, nothing too exciting, so. Um, we think it's one of these metal uh, uh, straps off the uh, off the gates. So. Anyway, if the guy in the wetsuit comes, we'll uh, we'll come back and film. I think. Yeah, we were questioning why this boat was here on the lock landing, but actually, if you look, there's another one. This one. Yeah, it's got um, it's got pins in into the rope. So we're thinking that it's been found loose or afloat, and some kind souls come and tied it onto here. Um, it's very good of them. Would explain why it's here. So yeah, the, the chaps from the CRT there are saying, despite their attempts to magnet fish whatever's in there, um, it's currently not happening. So uh, it's going to go back to the boat and eat, and then uh, come back when uh, Jimmy Wetsuit's likely to be there. <laughs> it's cool, isn't it? Mm, very. Since we can't go any uh, any further, we've decided we're going to have an early lunch. So this is homemade vegetable soup. I don't know how they're like, because there's so much various bits went into that, weren't there? There's um, what's in there? There's butternut squash, um, courgette, courgette, potato, potato. yeah, garlic, chili onion. flakes, really an yeah, onion. onion vegetable stock, a little bit of butter, yeah. So really looking forward to this. Hello, Mua. Hello. I'm not finding to eat here, so exciting. Moorage. 
Hello. Here he is, making himself useful. Why not? We can't get through the lock, so Josh's roof's getting a bit of a clean. Look at that. Can you tell which bit is done? <laughs> <laughs> and that's just cold water and a bit of uh, washing up liquid. It's nothing fancy, is it? No. No, sometimes you end up doing a job on a boat and you sort of think, well, can't actually tell if, uh, if that's been improved or you almost feel like you wasted your time. This um, It's immediately I obvious. I think I can tell the difference. He needs a paint, doesn't he, Josh? Yeah, he does. He does. There's a few, um, there's a few rusty bits starting to show where, uh, where the paint's blistered. And so next year he can. It's a bit like. Uh... It's a bit messy there, isn't it? Yeah, I suppose, yeah, bits like that, so. A bit messy there. Well, he's just a bit messy, really. He just needs a bit of TLC. He's had loads done inside, obviously, out of necessity, but. And we always said we'd do some external jobs and painting, didn't we? And um, this summer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, life, hey -ho. life takes over. Anyway, I'm just, actually, this is legitimate. I am going to check on the soup, not the fire, <laughs> but. <laughs> And the soup does need checking. But look at this now, the rain is starting a little bit heavier. So, I wondered if you wanted to put the cover on as well. Yeah, I think so. We're sort of at that. Because uh, it's getting. Um, it's going to get any. It's going to get worse. We'll save the engine bay a bit, won't it? Yeah. Anyway, I'll call you when your soup's ready. Oh, thanks, dear. I've discovered something exciting. <gasps> I've discovered. <laughs> how good ladles are look at that at like ladling so this is um this is a boat greg item i don't know how it survived actually yeah <laughs> the cold but i'm glad it did now then look at that oh beautiful absolutely beautiful got some chili flakes oh on yes it. please chili flakes on pepper yeah let's not uh, let's not be shy on either nom 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 uh, right, so Chaps arrived in his uh, in his wade, as he said, he's not very confident, so I don't think he's going to be moving, which is what it is, but he's going to have a go, so that's all you can ask, isn't it? Meanwhile, he's got a newer licking his van. <laughs> yeah, the funny thing. Thank you for having a go. Still roughly, I don't mean today, Monday. It's going to be such a Monday. Well, for us on Monday, yeah. Yeah, 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 give, give them a day to do the job. It's a big piece of steel we've got to get rid of. So they're reversing off to find a winding hole. We've checked our nearest winding hole is practically where we set off from this morning, so we're not reversing to bridge 13. From 27. It's going to be carnage here, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. But, oh, there's a boat coming. Yeah, I think it's not. Oh, no, is it more? Oh, yeah, yeah. I thought it was going to happen. Yeah, it's going to be absolute it's carnage. Like yeah. The person on the end really has to do do the bit. Stop the. Uh, yeah. He said, "All right, that's it. Locks closed, and everyone went, oh, right, okay." Yeah. And the next thing we hear, there's more in pins being knocked in, <laughs> and uh, whatever. So the concerns about water. Yeah, we've got uh, high boats with undetermined amounts of water and pump out and. 
I say high boats because everyone's in that same boat. It's just with the high boats, they don't really know how much no. what their boats are, you know, how much they hold and whatever. And everyone's not, th those guys aren't used to conserving water, are they? They're sort of, you know, you've got five people on your boat. That's uh, it's 10 showers a day. <laughs> not anymore. Know. We don't even know how much water we've got. No, we? we don't. No idea at all. Not much, we don't think. Yeah. Oh, it's going to be a smelly weekend. <laughs> <laughs> we have got our emergency wipes. <laughs> uh, lol. Hello. <laughs> so what to do on a rainy random afternoon when you can't cruise because the locks are closed. Make a scarf. Make a scarf, so. What do you a, think of it so far? It looks gorgeous, actually. Somebody's going to be really, really bold over uh, with that. Do you know the really good thing? Go. Oh, look. It's the same pattern on both sides. Well, oh, almost, yeah, well, yeah. Okay. There's two pattern. cables here and three cables here, oh, well. but it's re obviously reversible. With a nice little board around it, I quite like it. I like this wool. Yeah. That oh, looks amazing actually. So, right, somebody get, get that pre-ordered. How long will it be in total, dear? How long to, to make it? Yeah, no, well, no, how, long, how long will long? that scarf be? Because uh, at the minute it's not very... About two metres-ish. Right. So what's that going to take, like, half a year or something? Well, not, not if the lock stays shut for yeah. a while. <laughs> <laughs> It'll it. be done by the end of the weekend if that happens. Right, excellent. Right, available for pre-order. Mm.